Good day viewers, welcome back to Monyo Jikosh from Shadow Blade. So we have chapter 1, Mizaki's Believe It or Not. Um, okay. Before my eyes is, is a chest. Oh, oh no. It's a very large chest. Pressing against my face. And they are very soft. All other toys can get pushed out of my mind. I'm, I'm so very sorry. Don't be. It's not your fault. Sorry. Shadow, get off her! Nah, that was his ball! But it wasn't my fault either! It is evening at the school. Mia's falling on top of me. While, while Rika simply watches with her usual icy stare. How did, come, how did this come to about? Where to begin? Well, it all started last Friday. Well then, it was after school, earlier that day. The principal had told us about the three mysteries of the school. Full of vigor, the club member and I immediately set out to solve those mysteries. We need to start from the top. What was the first mystery? Let's see, according to Mr. Kazuyu, that was a treasure born of moonlight as I recall. Right, that one. Where the light of the moon can be seen. Now to now so too shall the treasure hidden in the school be revealed. However, it can be only seen those who know the shadows with eyes that may pierce the illusion veil of light. I wish the clue could be more direct. Bo more of moonlight. Did this mean could be only seen at night? While little gone, it was hard to tell. Which is you did give us another clue. The full moon beams, if visibly reflected, the secret will be at the midnight hour attested. That may even lessen, Senju. We need better clues. Come on, don't you have any? Save your complaints, it's not as if I come up with these clues after all. How very fascinating, it all seems so exciting! I never knew you were into this type of things, Miu. But I do, I love mysteries and suspense and all matters of intriguing. I see, I hope you're not up to solving this riddle then. Yes, I should do my best. See, Miu so enthusiastic almost made me glad that we accepted this task. If there has a full moon out, then we should go looking for the treasure at the night, no? True. The clue also said that we have to search the midnight hour. For this month, the next moon will, will be this Sunday. So Sunday night, I hope we'll be able to get up in time for school. But if we don't do it then, we'll have to wait another month. A whole month. Alright, then it's settled. We need to meet this weekend. Okay, so we're all clear. The Ninja Sing Club goes into action this Sunday. Be at the school gate by 11 p.m. everyone. We will need to approve from the school from nighttime activities. I shall take care of that. Glad to hear it. Well, I think that's all for today. See you all on Sunday. Don't forget. Don't worry, I won't. Yes, see you all then. How thrilling! After seeing the other members of the club leave, I take a stood up. I didn't think we were was anything else need to do. I guess I should go home. Just go home. Shadow. Hmm? What is it, Rika? Something on your mind? Yes, listen. Me too. Alright, what is it? Me you. Mew walked beside me and her head tilted quizzically. Me, we train. We train today. Alright! Even after we had found a busy school, Rika and Mew kept training. From time to time, I participated in just to watch, though. Rika has been very dedicated to training Mew. I knew all this. What could she want to tell me? However, cannot oversee training. Not they. Really, why not? Because reasons. Does this mean we will not be training today? Rika very fully shake her head in response to me. You. 
cannot break schedule train meal train daily no changing that for personal reason so oversee her train shadow if possible all right me i don't mind but i'd like you to know i'd like to know the reason are if possible family family stop come on stop lying still rika felt like she has to lie about it i believe really poorly then it had been some something she really didn't want to tell, talk about maybe it's a video game rika's really gotten into them lately a new one come out and sale that day well then Mew turned to look at me what do i tell her Okay, I'll give you a personal lesson. Yes, please do. Me was very pleased by my response. Lika wasn't at her frown show it. Thanks for accepting, but not too personal. No touching personal space. Respect it. I didn't mean it like that. I'm just figure it's just a figure of speed. It's not for such a concern with Shadow Senpai Rika Senpai. I believe that. Nice saving you. Then should we get re get started? Yes, I look forward to training under you. Okay, see you later. Rika. Rika. Rika has, has slipped off, disappearing without a trace. What could have been so important to her? I guess it doesn't matter. Where do you want to go today, Miu? In the forest, alright? Yes, I normally train there. After entering the forest, I asked Miu about her training. So what kind of training have you been doing lately? Shuriken throwing a part of the course of fundamentals. Alright then, show me what you got. Yes I will. Liu pulled her shuriken. I recognize them as the Nyabuki proud produce. With shuriken in hand, Miu crouched and set her sight on the nearby tree. No problem with her stance, but how, how good was her aim? Yeah! One after another, Miu threw her shuriken. Her little shot was very cute, but her aim was true. Every shuriken met its mark. You, you've improved. I certainly hope so. I need to be a good role model for occasion with Akari Senpai attend our ninja training. Additionally, I must be ready for whatever danger come while solving our mystery. Miu clenches both of her fists seemingly in determination. And she seemed very determined. There was a spark in her eyes, possibly excited over the mission on Sunday. Now that I'm glad to hear, can't wait for Sunday. Yes, neither can I. It was Sunday, tonight was the night. Are you all ready? Yep. Yes, I am. Good. I'm good to go too. Yes, senpai. Rika? Rika, are you feeling alright? Fine. Seriously, if something wrong, you can tell me. Despite what Rika said, she's clearly on edge. In fact, she seemed very nervous. Hurry! Let's go! Move. Let's go to move on! Shadow, hurry, hurry! Fine, fine. Stop rushing me. Where's Yamabuki? We're all, we're all ready. Most of us. I suppose we should start our search. Where's Yamabuki? Oh, we may, we may, we made it in without a hinge, but. Does anyone else feel real cold? Now that you mention it, it, it is a little chilly, especially for this time of year. How odd! Could something be wrong with the air conditioner perhaps? Well, maybe. No use thinking about it. Again, we snuck in okay, but... What do we do now? It must be midnight during a full moon. This is the only clue we have been given. Yes, that's how we all knew. No. To get to the bottom of this, we need to figure out the true meaning of Mr. Kuzuriku's riddle. But there is still an hour until midnight, meaning we still have time to figure this out. Just hit up every room, we'll find it properly. As, the, as excited as John said, he took a step forward. When he did, he put Kara on the lock of the tin wire. What? Something shoot through the air too fast to be seen. Ah, 
Johnny, there's an arrow stuck in your in your head. They got they got me. Bleh. Johnny collapsed on the spot. Johnny, speak to me, but Johnny. Hey, wait a minute. I took the arrow, which is seen to be over Johnny's head. With a soft pop, it came off, leaving a narrow scratch on Johnny's blonde head. Hey, an arrow isn't real, it's just a suction cap. I am slain. Blech. No, you aren't, unfortunately. <laughs> unfortunately, what do you mean by that? Why would anyone set such a pathetic trap? In idea sent you? How should I know? I have been, I have been the faintest, faintest either. And you think I had patrolled the school at night before, if they didn't know. Something's very fishy here. Not dangerous or wrong, just fishy. I understand full well what you mean. Whoever set this trap had no intention of harming us. It's more like a toying with us, teasing us. Hmm? Well, I'm open to suggestion. Are you alright, Miyu? After what happened earlier, I could tell something was bothering Miyu. It was written all over her face. If she was feeling under the weather, it might be better to send her home. No, I'm perfectly fine. You sure? You don't need to push yourself, you know? Yes, but... But thank you for your concern. Besides... Miyu said her to me began whispering into my ear. This is... This is Next opportunity to show the fruit of my tiny. I must preserve. I must. Anyway, we won't. We won't let a stupid trap like this slow us down. Right. Yes, I agree. Perhaps if it's no excuse to be reckless, um, however. Aren't we done yet? I need my beauty sleep. We might not be on the same page, but at least we had a common goal. Now let's get moving. These stairs. Yes, there could be there could be a problem. But I don't see any trip wires this time. Another type of trap don't exist, you know. If you were me, I would definitely set one here. She was right. It was very easy to get caught off guard while climbing and there was no difference in the elevation. On top of that, stairs were a perfect spot for a trap. Very suspicious. There had been a trap here, I think I know. My six my sixth sense was tingling, warning me and seen danger. <laughs> six senses, my spider senses are tingling. In any case, we should pose no problem if you're careful. Hey, what was that button here? Let's see what it does. Boop! Wait! I got it up. A very high thud round on the top of the stair. What was that noise? I haven't a clue. I'd rather not think about it. As we feared the worst, a lowing rumbling gradually built up from above us, like something was rolling down. Somehow I gathered the confidence to look up. The trap was a giant boulder crashing down the staircase, just like in the movie. Everyone run! Akari! Sorry, but uh, come on, who would ever expect a trap like that in the school? Ah, stop talking, shut up and run! Oh no! Just like that, Johnny disappeared, no matter how I accept the ball loss couldn't be helped. Hey, everyone, why don't you just duck into the classroom? Perfect, off I go! No, fear away from me! Smile you later! Thank, thank you, enjoy! Akari and Buki, one by one, they escape into the classroom, leaving me, me, and Rika behind to catch more, more me as the two girls were ahead of me. Problem, look, shadow, dead end. Oh no, we may be doomed. Not yet, find a classroom, dive in. Here. Rika, me, and I dash into the same classroom. The boulder charged past the classroom, crashing loudly as it destroyed the nearby wall. Or not. Where was the kaboom? There should have been an earth, earth shattering kaboom. I stepped out of the classroom and generally touched the boulder. Hey, wait a minute. It's, it's just a styrofoam. The knowledge made me feel all the fear evaporate from my body. Still, I guess it, 
anybody could make the same mistake. It was dark. We didn't, we didn't know what danger lies around the corner. It didn't make me feel any better by falling for such a stupid trap though. The more I thought about it, the angrier it made me. Why did I even have to deal with traps like these? Anyhow, we came you we're meeting back with the others now. Yes, alright. You alright, Miu? Miu? Miu fell forward towards me. I tried to catch her but just ended up sandwiched under her as we toppled into the hallway. And that's how we ended up like this. Before my eyes is a chest, no doubt about it. Oh no, it's a very large chest. I'm... I'm so very sorry. Don't be, it's not your fault. Sorry. Shadow, get off her. Now it's this ball. But it wasn't my fault either. It is evening at the school, Mi has fallen on top of me, while Rika simply watches me with the us usual icy stare. So, are you alright, Miu? Are you alright now, Miu? What happened? I do apologize, but it was the floor here. It's wet for some reason. Really, I wonder if it's another trap. The floor has been mopped on Friday, but there was no way it could still be wet now. It was some somewhat cold as well. Almost icy? Icy? Seriously? Not only the floor is wet is no for no reason, but it's also icy. No way, this could be a coincidence. We figure this out later. First, could you get off of me? Her being on top of me really made it hard to think. Yes, my apologies. Don't be sorry, you did nothing wrong. Actually, I should be the one thanking you. Thanking me? Whatever for? Er, uh, nothing. We head to the principal's office and find everyone else already there. Hey Shadow, what took you so long? Johnny, you're still alive? Yeah, why? You disappointed? Anyway, anyways, after all what happened, I just want to get to this over and go home. I agree, this has been an exhausting experience. And yet I stopped at the principal's office, but the moment her hand touched the door, waters come flashing down. What an obvious trap. And just stepped to the side, avoiding the trap. Or she... Sh so she thought. Oh, ouchies! The metal watch burner fall onto me and just head hitting it with a loud clang. But it doesn't stop there. The watch actually bounced next, hitting me on the side of her head. Oh, are, are you two alright? This is possibly infuriating! And she has been calm and collected, but no more. She is farming now. I don't know who went to the little to impede us, and I no longer care. I will solve this riddle. Right. Well, at least they seem very motivated now. That's a good thing, right? Sure it is. And you lead us to the garden in the center of the school garden ground. The treasure lies here. Shadows start digging. Wait, how do you know this is the right place? And is quite confident that she has solved this riddle, but I still have my doubts. Why the garden? Why do you need to dig? Very well, listen closely, dear Watson. Why do you have to be Watson? Fine, do explain this to me, Miss Ho Miss Holmes. <laughs> Mr. Kazuri's clue spoke for the full moon beam in the midnight hour, remember? There are many areas in the school where the moon can be seen. However, at midnight this is only possible here. This garden is surrounded by the school building. Accordingly, the moon can only be be seen here when it reaches a certain point in the sky. It all makes sense now, but there's a lot of ground to cover in this garden. Where should we dig? This is where the part of part of the clue comes in. It spoke of the visi reflected, as you recall. There is a lake in this garden. The full moon could clearly be seen in it. Yes, the visit of the full moon would be reflected in it. Thus, I deduce the treasure we we'll see is either hidden in the lake or nearby it. Wow. When Angie set her mind to it, her power of deduction are shockingly impressive. I play my part, Shadow. Johnson, I leave the rest to you. What, what she said, I got some shopper from the gardening club shed, so go, go and get it. Well, you heard the ladies. Time to, for us to do some junk work, Johnny. Grunt work, Johnny. Okay, I made them wish they'd actually finish me off back there. So we dig and dig and dig. We made a large hole in the garden, 
club, club's field incident with the shovel strikes something hard. It appears to be a small box. We open the lid to find. So this is the treasure born of moonlight? How tacky! It seemed like it made of plastic. No, no doubt. Obvious to me that this is treasure we see. On, on my star, what wonderful treasure for this marble. Oh, Rika say with zero emotion. Before I could call her call out on it and you breathe in a heavy sign. How exhausting we can leave now I imagine. How fabulous. Bye everyone. Yeah we, we did a good work. I didn't even know a scavenger hunt could be so much fun. Yeah it was fun wasn't it? Plus now all you know I'm even stronger than death. Everyone else seemed happy enough. I guess I should rain on their parade. After I discovered the missing club gathered one last time in front of the school gates as we head to our separate ways. I decided to look for Rika. We still have matters to discuss. Shadow, why me? I was waiting for you actually. So tell me, did you clean up after yourself? Get all those traps you set? So you know, how? You were acting weird the whole night. We, when we triggered the traps, when we found the treasure, you are correct, Shadow. We'll come clean. Yes, yeah, setting traps, hiding jewel, all me. But why would you do that? Asked by Mr. Guzuryu. Mr. Guzuryu put you up to this? But but why? It doesn't matter now, I guess. We had a good time. Honestly? Yes, honestly, it was a lot of fun for everyone. If you insist. Yes, I do. Still, I never expected Mr. Guzuryu was behind this. Yes, he was. Talk about your uh, odd couple. I still don't get it. Why would the principal do something like this? It doesn't matter. It doesn't make sense. The next day, we take our treasure in the invitation jewel to the principal's office. We found it. This is the treasure the board of the moonlight. Marvelous! I'm more splendid treasure I have yet to see. Incredible, amazing. The principal just a bad at actor as Rika. Nobody could see this treasure is hardly worth of the praise in any day daylight. It actually look even cheaper. I must commend you all for displaying such splendid teamwork in undervaluing this mystery. I expect your future and what shall be fortune, can I not? If anything, I should be thanking him. A grown man doing all this just for some kids to keep hanging out. I know better than to say anything that would spoil the mood. Instead, I decide to put my best fake smile and instinctively agree with whatever the principal says. As for your next case, this is the ghost of Mizaki school. A ghost? Wow, that's just incredible. Pardon me? An old middle-aged man disrupts the old Eric at the enters the principal's office. He seemed to be about the same age as the principal, but much more uptight. Well, well, the owner of the school. To what do I owe the pleasure? This guy, he's the owner of the school. Yes, I suppose you have to make, make his acquaintance. Allow me to introduce introduction, everyone. This is the newly and recently appointed owner of Mizaki School. The owner of the school. I guess that means he's outranked the principal. I think to myself as I stare at his turn. Emotionless face. The owner glanced at us, then turned his attention back to the principal. I wanted to talk to you about, about how you're running the school. If you're busy, I can always come back later. I need your full uninvited attention. We have much to discuss. Well, well, I shall look forward to that. I never seen the principal put such a fake smile. The owner should in disdain. These are your students then? What a vulgar looking bunch of ho holums. The school must have been in dire state to call them students here. What in the world is his problem? No, he is the school official. My first instinct is to keep my mouth shut, but the owner reached out to Mio's head. What is the meaning of this? Why does he have an animal on school property? He should climb that filthy thing into a cage. He John. Ouch! How dare you! Fusema, please just, please just calm down. No, keep it it. Keep it up. Hey! I'm glad the owner got what is coming to him, but even then... 
This is great and threatening me. I never heard a rabbit growl like that. Oh, oh, is Mr. Owner a little hard of hearing? I suppose it cannot be helped at your age. I'm not at all yet, you brat. While the rabbit clumps down on the owner, the rest of us gather and shield me. You, we are friends. No way we'll let him try anything else. The owner see sees this and give a small but edible gulp. Just remember this, I'll clean up this school no matter who tries to stop me. With those parting words, the owner leaves the office. My, what an unpleasant fellow. The, the very model of the emptiness is he not? May I ask who he was again? He was the new owner of the school. At the very least, I do hope his intentions are sincere. Oh, sorry about that. Yeah, he's at the core. You just can't tell. Just tell. But not the final boss class. Me, you all right? Rika surely passed me on her, on her head. Yes, I am fine. Thank you for your concern. Well, I'm a little glad that the rabbit bit him. I never seen him again. It would be soon enough. An impossible dream, that is. His fixation on this school means he shall perish. It could lead us to some difficulties. If that should come to the pass, I only hope you will behave yourself. Right. I still hope it doesn't come to that, but it seems that the only matter of time. That is the you finally happening, the start of the fourth season. Next time, Morning Joe Girls brought to you by me, Yamabuki, as well as myself, Miyu. Chapter 1 kicks on with the bang. The Ninja Singing Club solved their first mystery. It was quite a thrilling experience. But hold on, there's a new villain in town, the owner of the school. What do you think about him? Well, I, wa I would rather not say. That man, huh? He's the worst of the worst. You heard it in the first. Wait, I never said that. Nah, it's fine. Just tell it like it is. You can get away that easy with next episode preview section. Still, I gotta give props to your rabbit, Mew. Biting that, biting that jerk, he got it out of coming. But let's move on to the next time on Ninja Girls. Forget the honor for now, the Ninja Seeing Club tackles their second mystery. First, it was the scroll, then the kamoy. Now, the Ninja Seeing Club sees sightseeing for mystery solving. The Ghost of Misaki School. What could it be? You'll find out next time in Chapter 2, Ghost Blaster. We just try to solve this mystery as well. Keeping your eye on the prize, that's good. I wonder if that's the only problem we'll face with that owner and all. Whatever you mean, you know, senpai Nah, it's nothing. See you also in the next, in the next chapter. Okay guys, so what's the next part of the video will be in Chapter 2. But that's for now, hope you enjoy. So, shall we for the next part of the video.